Welcome the ladies, this is Celine. I promised you guys a video or some picture on the new mosaic na nails that I got yesterday. And I just wanted to, I'm holding the camera so don't mind my shaky cam. These are the nails. Let's see if I can get a good picture of them there. Not really, huh? Let's try that. But that's them. And I will put a link in the description to where I got them, but I will warn you. I purchased the 150 instead of the 500, and it came in one single bag with 150 nails all hodgepodge together. Now, I've heard if you buy the 500s that they come in individual little baggies, so that might be a better option, as these are not numbered. So, we spent forever sorting them out, and it sucked. These are the tools that I'm going to be using today, and it's quite a lot of them, but I usually use a lot of them anyway. Um, this is from Nate Miss Beauty. This is their white. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but I'm going to put it out in case, and in case I do decide to put a color underneath. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to use this because I'm going to make color shots instead of using colored acrylics because I think that will make it more transparent. I'm using these dotting tools for designs in the end but also to help mix the mosaic colors. The brush for in the end, the pads of course, I have lots of those. These are my instruments for cleaning the nails. This is my brush, this is a 6, this is an 8, and this is a detailer brush that I just got. I don't know if you can see how fine tip that is. I'm hoping it works better than some of the ones that I have. This is the clear powder that I have and this one came from Veronica Nails. It's a Dutch company. I use this one a lot and I love this powder. It's also really cheap. You can get it for about five or six bucks for 30. So it comes out pretty cheap. Works perfect. This is the Nate Miss Beauty's Blue Liquid Plus. Simply means it has primer in it. Um, I'm almost out, cry. Um, I've been using this for five years, I think, and um, I've never had a problem with it. I've also used the one from Veronica Nails, and I like that one, but it doesn't have the primer in it. So, depending on what I'm doing is depending upon which one I use. Um, this one here is a CND cuticle cleanser. This actually came in one of my student packages. This is a CD nail scrub, CND, which is the, I guess, Dutch equivalent to a dehydrator. And when you're done with it, your nails are white and you really need it for a good bonding. If you don't have it, then it's not going to work. It's called Scrub Fresh. This is just from the local Atos Alcohol for Cleaning. This is also from Veronica Nails, uh, nail primer, 30 milliliters. I'll see if I can put a link up to that one too as well. Nate Miss Beauty's uh, glue. And I really think that this one is actually the best glue that I've had. The other ones seem to fall off. So it's a little pricier, but I really would recommend this one. It has a brush too. Um, this, I actually told some of the Dutchies yesterday, is the UV gel that they have at the Big Bazaar. And I picked this up for $2.99. I couldn't believe it that they have UV top gel. And I have been using it for weeks, and it is awesome. Never have a problem with it. Works as a base coat and a top coat, but I use it for a top coat because I have a base coat. This is my brush cleaner in case I need it, which I probably will because I'm going to be going into multiple different um, color shots. This is just hand sanitizer, also CND, and of course nail oil. Varieties of files and clippers for around the nail bed. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the prep and get everything set up because um, my camera doesn't record very long and I don't think shaky cam is worth it. There's my daughter. Say hello. Hello. She's bored. <laughs> kind of tired. 
Okay, so um, we will be back once we get things a little more shut up. Okay. Um. Okay. I just wanted to um go into the color shots that I'm using a little bit more. Um, this is them. It's basically just a, a normal fluid, and then you take your fingernail polish that you have, works with any of them, and you just start putting drops in until it's the opacity that you want. Since I'm doing the mosaic nails, I didn't really want them too opaque, but then I realized my error and found out that they were coming out um, almost too transparent. You couldn't tell the colors in them. So I had to make them darker. So that's how you see that. And this is the colors that I'm using is, um, I can't even see it from here. This is Safari 412. They don't really have names. They just have numbers on them. This is Safari 419 green from the Neon Collection, and this one is also from the Cotton Candy Collection. This one is from the Pastel Collection, it's 89, it's Cotton Candy Pink. This one from the Neon Collection is Yellow, and the name of it is actual Yellow. And this one is from the Neon Collection, and this is um, 199, I think. No, sorry, 100. Um, I actually have all of these in my store, which I'm really hoping to get up soon, but we'll see. Uh, it should be up soon. And um, we ran across a few errors, realized that the nails are way too long for her, so we had to cut them down. Um, but then it ran too late by the time we got everything done, so we're going to pick it back up and then we'll pick it up in the morning and this is my workspace what a mess anyway catch you guys in a second for you okay so um we did the nails and they came out really neat don't mind my twitchiness um they didn't come out as glass as I'd like let's see if I can Bring the light down a little more. Uh, um, <laughs> they didn't come out as glossy as I'd like, but I did get the mosaic look with the different colors, and I just used the color shots with trans with transparent powder, and actually just made little super wet dots all over the place. This one, I filled the dots underneath with a darker one to see if I could give it a different kind of glass look, and it worked. However, the color shots were a little too weak against this blue, and you can't really see them. But they came out really neat. I thought it looks really cool anyway. This one, I made it darker, and you could definitely see the mosaic looks better in it. But you can see right through it, actually. <laughs> That's cool. Um, you can definitely see the mosaic look in it, but it's going to take a while, actually, of playing with these before I think I could perfect that in any sort of way. Just making different dots around the, the nail and the smile line is in different colors there. This one came out kind of weird. This one I added some darker, darker blues in it. You can definitely see the mosaic design in there. Came out really neat, but um, she has some stuff that we have to do. So these are going to come off, and um, I'll do some different ones, and we'll take pictures of those when we're done. Bye! <laughs>